Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we'll be doing a video on the Claws Nectus. Uh, the Claws Nectus 26, 267F made by Claws. And here it is, just the thing I did this in my last video a review of it. And so we will we will be doing another video of it. I use this one because you know obviously it's what it comes with. Now this cat, uh, this cat, and this what is it called? I don't know. What is it called? Lindy, like Lind, Lind, L I N D. I don't know, like Lind or something like that. Sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong, but yeah, something like that. It say Lindy, I guess. Lindy. It says 430 or something, like 430. We need like a Lindy 430 or something. I have seen this forklift, forklift with uh, winches on the back. I think that's an attachment. I don't even know. But it does have, this comes with it. Everything that you see, you know, like over here, it does come with the pallets. And it does come with this little thing that can be removed. Like on the back, right there. You can just pop it in that. Everything that, that's over here. So obviously this and that trailer, that red trailer, is one, one set. And then this, that little th that little hitch in the back, and this, the pallet, is all one set. And that cat skid steer is one set too. Now I think you can get that cat skid steer with other sets, but it is just a set alone. So... That, you know, it comes with the Jeep set, and also the, I think also with the, I, uh, I know, but I'm sure it doesn't come with the trailer set with the JBC backhoe. So here we have the Lind E, something like that, 430, or 4th, H30, oops, pronounced it wrong. It has a little seat inside. Because the, the steering wheel does turn, but it doesn't have the turning feature. Actually, the turning thing is in the back. It kind of has that turning feature. You know, it has the removing hitch on the back, which I already showed you. You don't need to waste time. It has movable forks. You can't take the forks off. I should leave that fork off because it looks cool. Let's just take both of them off. You can take both off, and then it does, you can scroll out. So it's like this. You can scroll, it can do things that it can just go a little like that I can go that you can't this is not level like this so you might if you want level you would move it a little this does go up so it's like from from, ah, from like right here to like right here so that's pretty tall actually let's measure how tall it is and then if you have any questions about this or anything that I'm doing like in my last video please comment and or or somehow there's really nothing to this um yeah so it's you know it tilts there is a joint right there the wheels do turn these are not turn on a single axle they're just rather they're we can swim on you know like most uh, let's measure how tall this goes, and then we'll get on to the skid steer. I got a tape measure. A s measure, we don't really need 25 feet. It's only going to be like 6 inches tall. Um, let's see. We know it's going to be tall more than 6 inches. That's for sure. Let's see. That's around 6, no, 9 inches. That's like 9 inches tall. So that's about nine inches. Maybe we could go like, like another like that. I can go up a little more, but I wouldn't force it because it could break. It uses the ropes. The ropes stay in place with these little balls things. I think there's one on the bottom. I guess not. Well, there's of course some on the side. This rope does not go all the way through. The rope ends like right here. If you can even see the rope, see it only ends like right here. It doesn't really go through. Sorry that I'm talking so fast. You know, of course, it says a little stuff on the bottom. That's going to be it for this, this little guy. Let's just move all the stuff. 
You know, it comes with the two little palettes. Okay, let's do this. I'm not gonna do a review on the trailer or in the class because I already did one. Here's the cat. It comes with different attachments. You can remove the bucket. As you can see, you can remove the bucket. It has all wheels, you know, spin. Can do that, can do that. You know, it doesn't really turn like a real, it doesn't really turn like a real one where, you know, like that. What it, what there needs to be is like little, like they're separate. So like these don't spin together. They spin separate. So it can actually like be able to turn. Just an idea uh, that that would be really cool. Has a little engine. It, this can go up this high. I'll measure that too. The scoop, it's probably a little taller. I think there's like there could be other attachments. I don't really know what attachments there could be. I think there's a hay bale one. I think that's only for tractors. So that could be for these things too. Okay, let's measure how high it is. Let's get to the tape measure. Okay. Ah. So it's around. Like nine and a half inches. So it's a little taller than the forklift. With the bucket. Let's see which one's taller. Yeah, so this would be taller. Like nine and a half inches. With without the bucket, maybe like eight inches. With that, so without this little bucket, it would be like right there, that would be the toss point, eight inches. Just to give you an idea, without the bucket, if you were gonna get attachment. Now, I'll do the thing, the, the putting the forklift inside the bed, and then that's going to be the end of the video. So, let's put the forklift in the bed, see it stays in, then you can put like the little pallets on each side or something like that. And then, you know, the fork, you know, the with these little, the forks off, it looks kind of cool, you know. You can actually can't do it, you'd have to raise that thing up so it doesn't like poke the tractor. Let's just take that off. You can like drive it around. Let's just. So you can. You know, like that. So that's gonna be the end of it. That's gonna be the end of the video. Bye. Please like and subscribe. And I think I will be doing another video on some other stuff.